Today I want to show you using a programming development tool called Subversion or SVN. Think of SVN as like a project tool. For example, we make a website for a customer. We finish the job, we call it version one of the website. Boss calls you up, says, oh, I need to add a new page, a new header in this, so we do that, that's version two. But let's say we need to go back to version one. Now, in a typical world, you would have to make a backup before you put version two and basically look at that and compare them that way. SVN basically does this version for us and makes it a lot better. So SVN is definitely something nice to have. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we want to make sure in Ubuntu that we have the most up-to-date the uh, most up-to-date packages. Once we have that, we want to do a install subversion and lib Apache 2-SVN. Now, of course, this is assuming that you already have Apache installed and configured. So now, once that is installed, we need to add a subversion group. Okay. Now we are going to make a directory in the home directory called SVN. Now this is a directory that's going to hold your SVNs because you could have multiple, uh, you could have multiple sites or repositories. So in this tutorial, I'm only going to show you how to set up one repository. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do a change own So we're going to change the user to www-data to the group subversion of the home SVN folder. Then we're going to want to do a change, a change mod in that home SVN directory. So now what we're going to want to do is we want to now create that repository. SVN and we're going to call this my website. So now what we need to do is we need to edit the Apache module we installed. And that would be dev underscore svn config. Yeah, we're just going to want to go to the bottom of the file and we are going to oh, add a location of SVN my website. And we want auth type 
basic name and website subversion repository auth user file now this is basically saying where the password file is going to be Okay, so I'm going to write that file. Now uh, we're going to do in HT password, we're going to do dash C. Now if this file already existed, you don't need the dash C. You could actually get rid of that. And we'll also this. It's going to ask you for a password, so we'll type the password in there. And to wrap this up, we just need to SVN. We need to basically do the change own and the change mod one last time. Plus, right, that's W. Home SVN, my website. Okay. You restart Apache, and help if I give it root privileges. And there you go. So basically, you have an SVN repository set up to where you can do this version control. Now, if you go back to this here, let's say I wanted to add another user called B Smith password password so now you just added and then you just need to restart Apache and now you have two users that can do this so I hope this was uh, useful if uh, you have any questions or concerns or you saw something I didn't do right uh, please post a comment uh, if you do like my tutorials, uh, please subscribe. Thank you.